Wait, do I have to mute them for you? Uh, there we go. Well, yeah, because it's it's Rhapsody versus Jonas. Oh, I've been muting them myself here. On you, because if I mute them, uh, if I no, server no, no, mute I'm, them, I, yeah, I, I'm not telling you to server mute them. I'm I'm telling oh, okay, you to okay. mute them on your end. Otherwise, yeah, just you ban them. Too, too, ban oh, I already <laughs> did that. Yeah, right. I already did that. I can just ban them. <laughs> just ban Jonas in the middle. Of it. <laughs> well, I mean. Fun fact, everybody. It's uh, whoever loses gets gets banned, and since I lost first, I got banned, and it's the Wild West. So, <laughs> ban yourself from the server. I uh, sorry, I'm at. We had a good run. I mean, except so, for the part where everything goes wrong all the time. <laughs> so, so who are we? Who are we thinking? Are we? Are we thinking? Who are we thinking I, for the win here? Uh, if you don't say Rhapsody, you're lying, right? Like that's that's what I got to say, right? Yeah. There's, like it, this is gonna know, be a tough game for I know, Jonas. I know Jonas beat me, but I had the least amount of practice out of all of us. It was it was really close. So I think he got I mean, really lucky I've at been, the end with the double death blow and the the crit to death blow. But you brought it back. I was I was you on the really back brought it the back, entire dude. time. The you were the vest turned away was, from winning. Or not the Vestal, the uh, the Antiquarium versus the Vestal was such a massive like difference. I never felt like the uh, the Antiquarian was able to hold her own, whereas the Vestals just like super heals left and right were just so good. I even noticed that in your run, that the uh, the Vestal was really holding her own, whereas the Antiquarian just felt we the Antiquarian is busted in every situation except for AOE bleed stacking. Because yeah. the bleed completely counteracted all of the stacks, so there was no point in even going for healing anymore. By the time I, like, seriously, like playing on the tail end of uh, that huge miss, there was no point in even going for yeah. healing after that. I, I will almost. say the the Vestal does more does more healing than you expect if you're coming oh, across yeah. yes. the single player. Like so much more. Like it's a complete mind shift. Mm -hmm. It really is. Jonas is running out of time. All right, there we go. I kind of wish I could turn off the timer for like this sort of thing. Like if you're just playing with friends, yeah. you should be able yeah. to just be like, can I not have the timer? Because yeah, there was like one nice. or two points where I was too busy like strategizing. I didn't even realize it was my turn because yeah. Jonas had done like a, a buff round and I just wasn't paying full attention. And it's like, oh shit, my round's like three quarters done. And Jonas is like, hey, it's your turn. And it's like, that'll be sooner. Yeah. I mean, a good, uh, a good way to know is if... Wayne June goes, the buffoon is flummoxed five times. <laughs> it's usually. I it's think same. I must have. I think I turned the dialogue off. Oh, uh, I, I feel like I didn't hear a, a bunch in mine either. I don't see any thing I wonder here. if I mean, it's I guess off I for the arena. Oh, that's the yikes. Yeah, did the same thing miss. happen to him that happened to me? Yeah, yep. it did. Yeah. OK, I'm. Oh, man. Oh man, Rhapsody! Oh, Rhapsody's just moving everyone around. That's yeah, he's well, I mean, that confidence scares me. The, like really the flagellant does. is dead right now. Just putting that out there. Yeah, like, he's gonna get finaled. Yeah. Like, Ooh, oh that's my god, no! That is okay. If there is anything that's gonna pull it back, it'd be that because <laughs> the the jester turns into half a unit after he he does the finale. He gets 100% extra stress and just becomes all around. Uh, he loses a lot of dodge. He becomes yeah. a sitting duck. So, like, honestly, that crit might mean a lot. Yeah, it, yeah. It equalizes the, the great robber's gonna do it twice. Yeah. And I know Rhapsody's just gonna continually use the Holy Lance as the Crusader because that's what he does. He wa he wants his Crusader in the back. He's just gonna keep on juggling his team movement style. Yep. Yep. Oh. It, surprising all, nobody, Rhapsody did the old. It. We all knew it was coming. I we I predicted it a week before the tournament happened. You did. Yeah. <laughs> I did. You even told me about it. And I, <laughs> I told you that. about it. <laughs> yep. I said, by the way, Rhapsody's probably going to do exactly this. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to do it to you in the match. Do you have any knockback in your team? Me? I uh, don't think so. Yeah. I, I, I noticed recall. none of us built for moving things around, and I think that might have actually it's... been wise. I see. Yeah. I think, I think moving I things around. I told Orbital is like, to build around it, but I didn't do it. <laughs> it's, 
<laughs> like moving moving things around is like a next level like play. You need to be like yeah. super confident in you also where need everyone to know goes and every when. single character's like where they're set. weakest. Yeah. 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 Hundred percent. And he's I mean, I, I think the big thing here, the only that's good. character that's kinda got a finicky placement uh situation on Rhapsody's team is the shield breaker, there's usually clear situations where you want to be in the front two or the back two. Usually you want him in the front two, but he has so many, all of his other units can move forward. So like he, he planned this out quite like quite clearly. Uh, that just, no, it's not, it's not, it's that not just makes bad. Me angry. No, it's good. It makes <laughs> it's me angry. It's great. See, this is why this is why I wanted to go against you, Rito, because Rhapsody is yeah. a tryhard. He is a total no, I know. tryhard. A total <laughs> it's, tryhard. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. But I, you know, it is what it is. Oh, that's I, a shame. That's a missed stun there. But the uh, so. the grave robber in stealth, the only the only unit that has any bit of like frailty aside from the uh, the debuffs on the jester being in stealth right now is some some rough stuff like jonas has almost nothing nothing to show while that uh the grave robbers in stealth yeah and it's gonna happen I mean, a lot there are a couple of spells that de-stealth but there's not enough stealth spells in the game to warrant taking a de-stealth spell yeah if that makes yeah. sense there's a de-stealth um, trinket too and i was considering doing it but yeah i think like there's only two I think the Grave Robber can stealth, and I think who else? Like the uh, Antiquarian can stealth? I don't, I don't even know. Uh, I think that might be it. I think so, yeah. I think she had like a smoke bomb thing. Yeah, I think that's it. Whoa, oh my god! 38 See, damage. This is what Rhapsody was doing to me. He would stealth his Grave Robber. Uh, he would do. He would literally one shot you down to Death's Door and then use the Jester. It's the, it's the memes. Wait, so am I? Hold on. Am I in the final? Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you've, you've done it. You've done it, big boy. <laughs> you got to close to the end. Whereas poor Jonas, if he somehow I pulls know. it out of this, he's not going to. But if he did, he would have had to fight three people on the way up. Oh. I blame the tournament organizer, to be honest. Yeah. I I blame nobody Wholesome wanting to HR play video games with us. This. It's okay. I don't. Am I on the list yet? I think I'm on the list. Yeah. I got to open my MS Paint document. <laughs> Please tell I, me you Alexa, are actually keeping track of these. I yeah, I have an MS Paint document. Okay, good. I told you, <laughs> Alexa is by far in the lead for most complaints. <laughs> okay, I mean this is can I, surprising. Can I put in? Can I put in another HR complaint about Alexa not being far enough ahead in complaints? Please. Uh, who is that a complaint against? <laughs> Alexa. <laughs> okay, plus one. Alexa, we don't fact check these here. Okay, if it's yeah. against Alexa, I'll just yeah, I'll just write it down. <laughs> I feel like when we recruit three or four more wholesome verse people, because we're probably just gonna like slowly collect them over however long. Yeah, I feel like Kamari. one of them we should randomly just tell them they're, they're HR now and hand them the document. <laughs> oh, oh, that's not yeah. good. Ah, it's a good game. <laughs> you, hate to, night. you hate to see it. This, oh. this is how I felt when I was uh, when I was up against Jonas. I just lost like my two backliners immediately. I'm like, well, this is just except for he lost his uh, flagellant immediately. It's not mm. He's not even Rhapsody's not even touching the uh, the Hellion. I I feel like I, she, I mean I feel she, like the Hellion's the spookiest on when you have units on Death's door because yeah. of the extra chance to kill with the Iron Swan. Or whatever it is so i think that he's just not scared of them because he doesn't have anybody on death's door oh my god he has nobody on death's door the grave robber is like 10 percent away from dying and 10 percent away from being afflicted but that's like the jester who cares yeah. he did his job yeah he got his value out of the out of the jester anything else he gets out of the jester is bonus points that's a good like, move actually that's that's I, as that's tournament good. organizer i say jonas wins if this grave robber dies so <laughs> or or if the desync if the, if it desyncs we if all need to vote for Jonas. I mean, that's what okay. I said. I said it, it's up to, Wait, it's up to I I feel like a... that that just throws it in in orbitals uh favor, but I'm okay with this. 
Yeah, I I'm okay with it. Like I would it love if I, I would love wait, if okay. wait, you think that you have a better chance against Rhapsody than Jonas? Oh no, sorry. No, I I would I would say that I I feel like me and Jonas are, you know, two two blind mice in the dark, to be honest. Uh You that's... beat me. I've been playing this for weeks. No, I play like, <laughs> I play like five games. It was luck. <laughs> So, <laughs> alternatively, we just build off this idea and congratulate Jonas on his win, no matter what. Yes. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. And let's pre let's pretend that we were, we just got the signs wrong. Oh, I love it. I mean, we are. I mean, know, there is there is a way here that there that is Jonas a way. Can win. Does Yop the does the barbaric Yop do damage like it's, literally any? It's AOE, I think, right? So yeah, it's it it does the fr it hits the front too. But do, do you know if it even does one point of damage because? That's like oh, I don't know, because that's pretty much what it's about. Twenty six HP. Hate to see it. This grave robber makes me want to quit video games. <laughs> like I'm out. I'm out. This is it. This grave robber. He's not gonna party, poor, is he? Poor Please Neo. I know for a fact that these people are named after uh, Rhapsody's Patreon supporters. So I'm gonna say like Neo, I hate you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, that's a shame. Uh, that is a big old shame. That's the come death on. accuracy debuff. Come on, rubber band. S snap rubber band effect, please. Bring him back. Give him. Give Jonas a blue shell. Well, Jonas. Jonas is an IT guy. He might. He might just like mess oh. with the dongle. Yeah. He said he. He says he's on Wi-Fi. Just wiggle it a little bit and. Uh, yeah. Good job. Yeah. Off. Gonna, gonna need to. Yeah. I think you should message him, Brito, and tell him to wiggle his dongle. Yeah. I, 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 excuse me, Wait. I do not want another What's... Wholesome vs. HR complaint against me. But if we... I'm not going to tell a member to wig, wig, wiggle his dongle. <laughs> you, can, you can tell that. Tell him that Wonderbot told you to tell him to wiggle his dongle. I'm going to tell him that Orville told me to tell Wanda to tell me to tell you to tell him to wiggle his dongle. Yeah. <laughs> and then you're all banned. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy oh boy you hate to see it come on come Kill on Jonas the grave robber please this stand thing up for I yourself don't. Hellion one thing I didn't notice about this until you know I was vastly outnumbered is yeah you don't get any extra actions if you are outnumbered oh, oh. yes that's BM. That's BM right there. That that, that heal on the grave rover is a hundred percent BM. Yeah, that's he didn't need to do that. I oh disqualified. Ooh, that's, you hate to see it. That's oh my goodness. Oh wow. Yeah, this is <laughs> wow. Wow. The useless jester gets a crit enough to bring him to death's door. Rhapsody. Can we have a, a, I believe it is Red Hook Rhapsody. Is that your uh, your handle now? Is that what it is? Rhapsody Barasa? Is that what your name is now? Oh, man. No, it's just Poor nothing. Jonas. There's just nothing he can do. Yeah. Jo yeah. I, so one thing I will say is before this, Jonas admitted that he just picked all of his favorites without any semblance of a strategy. Mm-hmm. So. And good on him. Good yeah, on yeah. him. I mean, I did yeah. the same thing. I was like, "That's know, gonna I'm... be that's gonna work for our match," and it almost did. It almost it almost did. Oh, uh, come on, get a kill! Oh, get double a kill. double kill! Well, double no, he kill. has Let's three turns. Double. He has three turns before he gets to do anything. It's so but brutal. Um, uh, Rhapsody, stop BM. it! He's already BM. dead. <laughs> He's already dead. This is wow. so rude. Remind me never to play actual competitive shit against Rhapsody. It's not worth it. Oh my god. That is the so DM rude. Is extreme. Oh. Uh, oh. If this oh. Abusive? Oh. I don't think abusive can take the turn, though. He might kill his own unit, but... Yeah! Oh. <laughs> Go Jonas! Go Jonas! <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, oh my on. god. That had... That had increased death's blow chance, oh, and and Jonas is at forty percent. Can we talk about this? Come on, that was like Come a fifteen on. or twenty percent chance to 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 happen right there. Oh, oh my god! Oh, Jonas. he's he's. There's no way. There's no way. Well, he can't. 
No, oh, no. Yeah, oh, there it goes. Oh my god. Oh, he did dude. better though. That oh, alien. That was that was something. Can he do oh, it? Yeah. Chat says no he can't, but it was very exciting. So close. Oh my god. Good match, by the way. Right. Good match. Alright. Oh boy. You gotta Let's get unmute. Cord, unmute. Congrats, Jonas on the win, by the way. Well done, Jonas. <laughs> that was impressive. Yeah, oh, we did so well. I had, so we were talking about it really quick. I had the flagellant have like the worst miss I possibly could have had. You had the same exact flagellant miss I had. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> losing it, that is just it, brutal. It's, it changes everything. It mm -hmm. changed everything. But that's what, it was, that's it, what Rap said. He said you were immediately going to mention that the same thing happened to you. Yes, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> it was the exact same thing. <laughs> oh. uh, but congratulations Rhapsody we know that Thank Rhapsody you. won so now it is Rhapsody versus Orbital in the finals mm -hmm. right? so yeah. it is let me just go accept that play invite uh, I'm gonna actually back out because it's showing me it's showing me uh, it, Jonas's uh, profile picture but it's showing me Orbital's name uh, okay. that sounds problematic that sounds yeah, right. There you go. Orbital, I've sent you one back. Okay, cool. Orbitus Potatuson? <laughs> Orbitus <laughs> Potatuson. <laughs> Working any better? All right. Yes, it is. I'm actually also going to stream this one. I forgot that I should just leave my stream up. Joby or Fat Tato? Jovio <laughs> I don't know. That might be better. <laughs> oh boy! Ooh, all right, so than that. this is uh, this is actually the grand finale of the bracket. Yeah, you better believe it. We did it. Yeah. Both of us uh, fought hard and uh, won one match to be here. <laughs> I mean, if you know, if we had more people, we it would have been kind of hoping Jonas would pull it out somehow, just so he'd have to do three matches. <laughs> yeah. The most unbalanced bracket ever. <laughs> Yeah, it would have been great. When, when, when Jonas got the uh, the abusive proc on, uh, on the that was great. Robert, we were mm -hmm. we were cheering. We, oh, it was we exploded. <laughs> yeah, I, I could have damn near exploded as well. What the hell? It killed my. Uh... You know what was the best? It's like the latency there. I didn't know what happened for about two seconds, and then I saw it. <laughs> oh, so, uh. All right. All right. Well, I am uh, gonna mute you, might... boys. Yeah, exactly. It might be about time to mute the other. All right. Bye-bye. Okay. So, we betting on King Tryhard? I... I mean... <laughs> we were talking about all the BM that he employed against you with healing off that door when he had four units and you had one. We couldn't take it, Jonas. We just couldn't Admittedly, take it. With Jonas's luck at the end, like that might have actually made it more of a difference. It might have made a difference. It yeah. was close. Like I was surprised at the end that like I was like, oh, uh, if it, I live, I might have a chance. It got exciting. It got really exciting right at the end. There it was like, oh my goodness. I I like, just I had like, desperately... the worst. The first turn, like I had a couple misses that were, and he got a couple of crits, and that kind of set it in motion. That that is like not necessarily a complaint with the mode that I have, but uh, like one turn in this, I guess it's probably like a compliment to it, but it's. Uh, one turn can make or break the entire game. It can, it can. But then, like, we definitely, Ravs and I have played, like, a little bit. We've probably played, like, five matches now, and it happens, and then it, it ebbs and flows, and then it memes you right back sometimes. That's it's, fair. It's, it's a party mode. It's a party mode. But it's a fun. Yep, 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 yep. yep. So Rhapsody has decided the Houndmaster is the most dangerous one in the party, and yeah. is just going to kill the, uh, the shit out of it. He, the Houndmaster's dead next turn, and I think he's right. I think he's right. Yeah. I I think that. I mean, he's got to kill. Orbital's got to somehow get the Grave Robber down really hard right now. Low HP. That actually might do it. That That's might huge. save him. Yeah. That's huge. Yeah. That's huge. I would have maybe but gone for the stun, but. But that's that's that, probably the right choice. Oh, is, guard break though. Yeah, yeah. he has extra dodge. I, yeah, Ken I was gonna, missed. Huge dodge. He, this I, I this is a big deal. Yeah, if it misses, he's like 
he's actually in a terrible spot. Because if he misses, having... he doesn't kill, and he has, is down a unit, basically. Half a unit. It... I was having a lot of luck with my Houndmaster just dodging everything. Yeah, he's a very dodgy boy. I think that the Houndmaster is one of the strongest units in the game. He's doing it. Oh, Ooh. my goodness. And he missed. It doesn't push him back, though. No. Okay. I, I don't think that was a finale. I think that was just a... Third oh, step. okay. Okay. Yeah, he still, still has the ability to use it. You can see it's... Okay. Highlight. Yes, yes. Still, so he wasn't very, sure very it's... useful. Ooh. Oh. I think Orbital Orbital. needs like a, a push ability. Yeah, and, and I don't... We don't think we talked one. about it. Yeah. I think that what Orbital needs to do is stun the Jester. Mm -hmm. I think he needs to stun the Jester and he needs to do it right now, but Orbital really prioritizes the heal, understandably. But I think right now a stun on the Jester is like... It's, I'm not it's, sure. it's huge. I'm not sure why Orbital had the Houndmaster guard dog. The I think it was. Lefer. I think it was to gain dodge. Yeah. Hmm. I think I think I, it was to gain the dodge. Ooh, I think that's what it's for. Ooh. That's nice. If if he could kill the Jester without hail mary, I'm seeing a hail mary. Yeah. Oh, he got it. <sighs> yeah, he got it. Wow. Well, I mean, I don't know. You, hmm. This is pretty close, though. It's, it is. It's. I think. I think Orbital's got the edge with the Vestal. To be honest, like if he can keep the other people yeah. alive, because it's only one finale per round. Yeah. And, and the Leper can take a lot and dish a lot. Like it's not really a jack of all trades kind of character. It's very much like damage and tank, but it takes a lot to take a Leper down. It it does. He's like the leper. A lot of people think he the leper is probably the worst character, but they always rate it's just because it's super easy to push him back. Perhaps he's got no pushback, and the houndmaster being dead just means that the leper is going to be pushed forward. It's like coming up soon here. The only issue I generally had with the leper is his accuracy is lower. Like yeah, if, yeah. if I'm not the, mistaken, most of his attacks have like an eighty percent cap or something like that. Yeah. Orbital did kind of uh, soften that a bit by getting the Jester who has an AOE uh, accuracy oh, buff. Right. So I believe he's got, I think it's either 15 or 20% accuracy up to help nullify that. Which is, I don't know if it was on purpose, but if it is, it's smart. Ooh, Orbital with the uh, stun on the Grave Robber, I think. Stun on the... You couldn't see it because Rhapsody had his menu up, but Orbital stunned the Grave oh. Robber. Oh, I missed that. Yeah, I think that was a good call. I, I only noticed it just as Rhapsody closed the window, and it's like, oh, yep. Hmm. This is interesting because the Grave Robber is going to, he's probably going to try to either move the Grave Robber forward or put it in stealth. If he moves it forward, it's its finale bait. I, yeah, except for doesn't, don't you have to be in the front for finale? Yeah, but I, at one oh. of these turns coming up here, that is terrible. Big one big. of these turns coming up here, the Houndmaster's corpse is going to go away. I think uh, it's yeah, actually like three. Yeah, it's going to be soon here. But It'll be a big chop, though. Oh, goes for the hue. Well, gets the hit where he needed it. Yeah. If he can save the finale for later, I guess it's. You know, that's good, too, because the Jester also has the Dirk stab, which has increased death with deaths blow chance so he might be able to save the finale like move forward get the death's blow and put himself in a position potentially to uh to save that for later that's a big move though that means that the vessel can't single heal yeah i think he's gonna just keep that could that's a smart idea too because that uh, any damage counts that could have been a kill now they're that, stunned that's that still really counts smart. i didn't know that yeah, yeah, I thought it had it, to be like a legit like zero or one nope. show up. If it if it does at least one damage, because gotcha. if you saw, like how you saw the death's door pop up, that means that it could have killed. So it reduced his death's blow chance there. This is a really exciting final. I'm liking it. Yeah, yeah. Nope. Oh yeah, that's Ooh. what I was gonna. Yeah, yeah. That's the move. I oh, uh, we forgot about the jester again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it still sucks, it's, but it can do damage. It's a, it's a half unit, but a half unit can still hit for damage. 
Mm -hmm. uh, that's also, still works, I don't so. think his accuracy is debuffed, so that and actually it's makes his, uh, his dodge. Yeah, it's his dodge and his damage, but like as long as his accuracy is good, he is. Uh, why? Hmm. I think he's going. Oh, to move it forward. I got yeah. it. I feel like could he could he not have dirk stabbed though? Because that would have done it too. I'm gonna check on my screen. Oof. Yeah. Dirk stab. Yeah, you can dirk stab from any position. I think he should have dirk stabbed one of the one of the back line if he could, or even the front line. I think it would have been better because he's not going to get anywhere with stress right now. There's no way. No, this isn't this a stress action, action to move. Oh, it was. It was. That's. I think. Ouch. Uh -oh. Yeah. I think we were he, the even first commenting match on was this. Great. The last the the last match we were saying that uh, having like a, a movement skill would be killer, and it it was. Yeah. yeah, movement in in this mode is huge. It it is against specific characters, and I think all of them have been present today. <laughs> <laughs> like against the Jester, it's great. Against the Vestal, it's great. Uh, against just I mean, I mean those are the biggest ones. Like the uh, the I guess maybe the Plague Doctor. Like yeah. Doctor's okay in most spots. Like at least he can do yeah. something, but the vessel can't. Like becomes very much like just a wasted space in the first and but second did, row. Did Rhapsody just let his timer go down? Wow. Is this the BM shame or friendship? <laughs> I can't tell both. Did the shade. Huh. Yeah. I mean I, I think no matter what. Uh, Potato is just kind of s screwed. His gesture is stunned. It's pretty stank. Yeah. yeah. Even even this, like opening up, like obviously that grave robber can be finaled. I think that Rhapsody almost like wants that in a sick, twisted way. Big crits. Big crits. Did, he didn't hit the shield breaker once. Nope. You know, at least, like, I took out a couple units. <laughs> yep. Apparently it was not BM, it was an accident, says said Rhapsody, apparently. My chat informed me that that oh, pass funny. was not for friendship. Paying attention. It was not for friendship, it was a whoops. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Rhapsody, apparently, in the stream said, I did not try hard for this. So uh -huh. everyone, we can we, we we have to take it back. He did not try hard for this. But compared to the rest of us, he is still King Try Hard. <laughs> well I, we're I not even like... noticing he's got a spreadsheet in the background going, yeah, yeah if this he tabs out. Honestly, just seeing yeah. that grave robber die makes me feel good, even if like even if it's not going to matter and the buff is down like crazy. And on top of it, now Orbital also has days every turn, which means he has to let three moves go before him <laughs> every turn. I mean, <laughs> even he though knew, he knew this was coming, there's he knew. I think he had nothing. the same thought as me. Like, I want to see at least one of them die. Yeah, that I was thinking the same. So next time you put together this uh, this tournament bracket, you put Raps Rhapsody in for all three. <laughs> yeah, I guess I guess so. I was like, I don't know. I, I guess I thought like, I don't know. I want everybody to <laughs> like not have to fight Rhapsody. <laughs> <laughs> that was what I had in mind, honestly. Well, like, just I put it, just it, I put it want... together like a Tekken campaign mode where he just has to fight yeah. every single one of us to the top. <laughs> yeah, that's what that's what it is next time. The oh Mortal Kombat Tower. I mean, yeah. <laughs> and there it is. <laughs> the the shade to kill him with the stun move of all moves. Oh boy. Oh, don't share your screen right now. All right. Uh there you go. All you, right. Gentlemen. I'm, Congratulations, Orbital. Thank Wait, you. Yeah. For weathering that absolute beatdown. Uh, I know, I got three moves <laughs> out, I think. <laughs> that, was that was rough. Uh, God. That was um, some messy stuff. You know, the, Congratulations. The, best play that, the best play that I made, which was to guard, was to guard my uh, my Houndmaster. That, 
Yeah. I, that's Rhapsody what I was suggested that. Rhapsody, I asked Rhapsody <laughs> what to do, and, he, and I did what he said. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Oh, no. Never I mind. Know. I was talking about how smart of a play that one was. I, that, I singled that out. I'm sorry. Uh, well, thank you, Rita. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations. We've, uh, we've exhausted the tournament, and Rhapsody is the victor. Uh... We're done quite early, but I kind of knew that was going to happen. I don't know. I, I don't know if anyone wants to, like, do a show match or something. I mean, we can have a third place. We can have a fight for third place, right? Uh, Who would that be between right now? I did not prepare for that. <laughs> That's a great point. That's a great Jonas, question. Jonas and Retro? Yeah, it's Jonas yeah. and Retro. Yeah. Thank you. Because like all, I'm all the way down to the bottom. Like there, I'm I'm, I am go. last place no matter what. So it, it is Jonas versus Retro. If we want to have one more, you want a Jonas? Yeah, I can. I can do a third place. All right. Let's, just, let's pretend like this is the grand finale. Because it's probably going to be more uh, competition in this one. In this one, I think. No, that was, that was actually. I thought it was super entertaining. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> entertaining yeah. is a good choice of word. It made me feel better about my play. <laughs> you survived oh. longer than me. You survived way longer than me, Jonas. Yeah, this Jonas. Is I, was, I was saying in the mat, you, you survived longer than me. Mm. Yeah, I, and you even took out more of his dudes, sort of. Yeah. Well, one was he killed himself, but I mean, <laughs> but you made that happen. <laughs> that was you made it. Yeah, it it happened for a reason. Mm -hmm. All right, I sent you an invite, Jonas. And oh gosh, this the issue with this is can I stream it or will that? I don't know because Jonas, you said your internet was not good yeah, right now. Yeah, I do not have uh the internet good enough right now to stream. I, Just, I went live on Twitch and then had to cancel, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Oops. If it's choppy, it's choppy. I the the biggest thing is like so we have fiber. Uh, the house is hooked up for DSL, but not for fiber. So there's only one room with fiber in my house, and I basically have to have the uh, people come by and hook it up. I I have the same problem except for I can't have them hook it up. So I just have one room with fiber and a 200 foot long Ethernet cable just running length of my house. <laughs> I thought about doing that. Um, my kid is learning to crawl. And yeah. It's, I'm like, nah, I don't know if I should. Well, Can you... I, I should be hanging it along the, like the ceiling. Cause that's, I have the supplies for that. Oh. I'm just way too lazy to do so. Yo, mm -hmm. that's a good idea. Can you, can you guys not like go under your house? That was the first thing that I did. Like when I moved in here, I like put a, put a port in, in my room at the back by crawling under the, under the house. Does I would not be able to do mine. Yeah. Okay. I, I could in mind, but who knows what's dead down there, and I don't want to find out. <laughs> mm -hmm. There could be wild carrots down there. You don't know. <laughs> no, they, would be domestic they would be domesticated carrots, Jonas, because they'd be in your house. <laughs> As a as a young kid, I used to like like between the ages like eight and ten. I used to find it really interesting to find ways to escape to under my house, and I used to just like explore under there. Uh, it, it was just a thing that was possible at the time, and I would just get lost under there. But I found old bottles of wine. I just shudder at the moment to think of how many dead rats I probably ignored and even like stepped over or touched whilst under there. Yeah, mm -hmm. I can imagine. I, I did that thing. once when I was a kid, and apparently my ba the crawl space under my house was like a giant breeding ground for crickets, and mm. so you couldn't like take one. Well, it's not a step if you're crawling, but effectively, yeah, just every time you'd move, it would just... God damn it. Uh, every time you uh, move, it would just make a crunch. Sorry, my iPad is uh, just serious, just like, what about dead crickets? <laughs> <laughs> you want to order dead crickets? Rito, you might have to moving. stream your screen rather than the I, game. Yeah, that's what I'm doing, and it's not going. Oh, Here, Everything is it. a black box. Let me try. You yeah. want to give it a shot. I think it's like a mismatch I, with my OS. It says that there's having some issues, maybe. So, well, uh, aren't you running like Windows XP or something? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not running yet. 95. Give him some credit. Not yet. Not yet. I'm just gonna, I'm not I can, we can stream your stream, Rito. I mean, we can do that, you, right? You can. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, let's just do yeah. that. Oh, the internet. Just do that. <laughs> just go to his channel. Yeah. Yeah. Easy. Super late, but like, who cares? Yeah. Oh, but that oh, does mean but we now get we have face to stare at his face. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh. <laughs> All right. I've been well, shamed. Webcam's at, going away. At no, least he's wearing. No, a, come on. At least he's wearing clothing. Yeah. This time. <laughs> All right. You guys got it up. You guys ready? Yeah. Uh, sorry, I'm just getting up music because I'm not going to be able to <laughs> Did you like, actually stream turn your off audio. Your face cam? <laughs> yeah, you got shamed. Me. Now you, no you, face you bad shaming. apples ruin it for everybody. Oh. You bad apples ruin it for the bunch. Is that what it's it okay. says? It's yeah. okay. Use face cam. Join me. I I'm switching up my face cam. I'm I'm dumping the green screen. So yeah, I I'm kind of hoping. Hey, that, there we go. Face as camera. bad as it is, I'm kind of hoping the housing market drops hard. So. <laughs> <laughs> so you have room. <laughs> <laughs> Just hide the opposing side for the entire match. <laughs> all right, you guys all yeah, set up. The, the I really like, up. I really like restreaming your stream because I've got my own webcam like in, in the top corner, and you've got yours in the bottom corner, so I can do the Brady Bunch thing of looking down and just waving. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy all right all right boys gonna i'm gonna mute i'm gonna mute hey, you actually we could just hop into another room instead of bothering with the whole mute business yeah that is it's actually true. true let's jump into limit three get out hey 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 that's so much easier i hate individually right. muting people who's our who's our money on uh Gentlemen. ooh you know, so we sold both of their builds. Was sort of orbital just like crushed Rito real fast. So no, I that's that I did not. It was very close. I uh, did not think that I it had it. Felt it felt more decisive. Whereas I don't know. Uh, give me like two seconds because I also got to remember what their builds are. Mm -hmm. You know, I might almost give it to Jonas. That that Vestal makes a huge difference. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It I, it does, but the Vestal like makes a huge difference uh, uh like against enemies that do, you know, single large target damage. So it'll be it'll be fine here. Uh but the Antiquarian is also really good at dealing with the same thing and there isn't a really huge amount of spread party dot on jonas fats inside he's got rain of uh blood as rain of sorrows rather as well as the plague grenades that can both hit the back line for a dot but that doesn't seem that threatening uh i i would yeah. expect rito to stack up that regeneration stack really really high and it would become really really hard for jonas to deal with it i think i think rito i mean rito's win condition is like stress right yeah I and mean, that's what it, that's what he's after so just depends on who moves faster i guess right if Jonas can close out an early kill, maybe the game changes. Maybe, maybe. I, I think it's going to be harder for him to close out an early kill than it will be for Rito to survive that early kill and stack that strength. Because he's in the first turn, he's done the uh, the party buff for Bolster, and then I guarantee every other move he uses with the Man at Arms is going to be Bolster. Sorry, Bolster. It's going to be Bella. um Bella. Bella. Right? Yeah. 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 I'm still a little disappointed you can't stack multiple of the same character. I realize that would like totally break the balance, but mm. I would love to see what kind of dumb combos we could come up with <sighs> with multiples. Double crit! That's, That's a lot ooh. of stress. It's a yikes. Ouch. And yeah. that's three blight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. One of the things that, that I discussed with Rito during our match was that Rito's bill doesn't have any movement potential so mm -hmm. he doesn't have the ability to move around of any any of jonas's uh heroes i don't Although, think either Party i don't think he has that yeah uh i think yeah, rhapsody no. you're the only one with uh movement capabilities and that was pivotal in the last fight oh yeah it was, it was absolutely huge pulling the vestal and houndmaster out of the position that they can use their best abilities was key it's yeah. absolutely key I yeah, we can already that. see that stress starting to stack with the Reign of Sorrows even adding in. This is the end of the first round, and he's already got like 30 stress across the party on average. And Jonas is barely even touched. Rito. 
Mm -hmm. mm. This is what I was worried about. Don't know about that. Is he's he targeting the man at arms? Is that the right strategy? Because he's, he's the stress dagger, feel like from what it. I remember. It, yeah, he, he is like the big stress, uh, stress stacker in the party, but he also has a huge amount of max HP, and yeah. I think he might actually have a base amount of protection as well, and on top of that has the plus 20% protection from the Bulwark of Faith from the Crusader, oh. which lasts all battle long, so it's going to be really hard to chunk him down with just direct damage hits. That's going to sound so stupid, but I... I didn't even think that prot meant protection. I didn't even realize that. I thought it was just a, mm. a stat, like dodge, prot. I yeah. honestly didn't think that it was a, it, it stood for protection. Yeah, I mean, I, sometimes you just bypass the game mechanics like that. You just don't think about it in terms of like it's real world analog. You just think, oh, that's prot. Yep, that's the stat yeah. that you use for that. Got it. Yeah. Oh man, jeez Louise. Yeah. Okay. So, so Wanda, how did uh, how did your match with uh, Jonas go on the commentary side on the inside? How was uh, how was the balancing of that? Uh, like I okay. Like, I, I'm confused. Like you want to just know how we were talking about things? Or? No, no. Like were were you like both kind of like sharing the strategy of what you're going to be doing with one another, or was it more kind of nah. like? No, I, like play I would play. say I think we were actually closer in terms of like base knowledge of the game. The thing is, he knew a lot more about the uh, PvP like changes. So mm. he was explaining some of those to me because like there were a couple of things that yeah, I straight up just didn't know because th unless you play this or like look up a primer elsewhere, there's actually like nothing telling you about the uh, debuffs not leading into a death blow, mm -hmm. uh, which I had locked in my team as a very heavy like bleed and debuff thing. And yeah. so we were talking about how actually kind of tragic that was. Because by the end of it, I had, like, no means of doing uh, direct damage to him. Mm -hmm. uh, but no, yeah. he was he was not actively trying to help me. Uh, nor, I think, would I have really wanted that. Because that would have been... I don't know. Yeah, that's fine. I, I did mean more, like, the kind of direction that you ended up talking about. That okay. is... Uh, that's a lot that... of... That's, that's, that's damage. 22. 22 damage coming it next is. turn that the Man of Arms is activated. That is that's a part, lot. That's part of the reason why I picked the uh, Plague Doctor. I was thinking it's like if I do get uh, if I do get bleeded and blighted really hard. <sighs> that's a really bad miss, especially against a character that doesn't really have that high of a dodge. Yep. Just rough. That zealous accusation is also really, really good for the stress stacking. Yeah. So yeah, this is this is very much just stack stress on each different line consistently. Yeah. So I mean, is the is the man at arms still the right hero to be attacking, or would you guys like to see Jonas going for somebody else? I think he's too invested in it. I think he has to do yeah. it now. Yeah. If he was gonna move before, who would he move against instead of the man at arms? Hmm. That's a great stun, by the way. That was a huge resist yep. chance that I think he overcame. I think I'm cool. actually going to throw that question back to you, Orbital, right? Because you had the match against Rido. Uh, is there any character that you thought you should have maybe instead targeted first, or are you comfortable? I... So... I, I guess go, I was go gonna for say, Wonder. Going for the Antiquarian might have made slightly more sense, because she's a lot easier to take down. The, mm -hmm. uh, the Man-at-Arms has... Well, he's got a 50 prot. I, I feel like uh, Jonas should have just uh, left the debuffs, you know, the, the damage over times, and started spreading them around because I think he might have focused too hard on the Man-at-Arms. Mm -hmm. Whereas, like, he could probably take out the Antiquarian in about the same amount of time. Uh, I think I think he realized that, like, just last round because he started spreading yeah. the, the DOTs to everyone in the front party. Like, tried yeah. twice against the Crusader, unfortunately missed both times. I'm going yeah. to say, look, when, I, when I versed... Uh, Rito, he didn't utilize the Antiquarian's heal like at all. Basically got mm -hmm. to a point where I had too many blights and bleeds on him that it wasn't worth it. So yeah. I never really valued attacking the Antiquarian. However, I think in this case, attacking the Antiquarian would probably be the way to go, right? Mm -hmm. I, I agree, uh, especially because the Hellion's out in the front line, and the Hellion, I know from Jonas, does have Iron Swan equipped, and yep. Iron Swan has an increased death blow chance. So yeah, all it would really the, take... Yeah, yeah. Oh God, is it ever rough? All it would really take is like stacking the Reign of Sorrow and uh, Noxious Fumes DOT. Noxious Fumes, sorry, the Noxious Blast DOT on the back line. 
So I keep kind of bringing up the differences between the Antiquarian and the Vestal. And I think this is mm -hmm. actually a good point right now where the, the Man-at-Arms is so heavily damaged by the debuffs that no amount of Antiquarian heals will be able to get him back. But mm -hmm. a, uh, a Vestal heal would have kept him <sighs> above. Yeah, Ooh. that's very unfortunate. That's a first hit death blow as well. That's a 15% chance right there. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I, I I do agree. This would be the position in which you really want the Vestal. Um, I, I think uh, Jonas has been like heavy targeting a single character more than I necessarily expected, but it, it so, might have been the way that he had to go. Next question. The paranoid on the man at arms. What does that mean for, uh, for, for Rito? So he'll occasionally take his own moves. Uh, he'll occasionally, you know, do things like denying heals and stuff like that. Which uh, I think he just obviously did. Demonstrate. Yeah, yeah, he did. Although you do get the move back, which is nice, because otherwise yeah. it would just feel real bad. Okay, that's interesting. Ah, that's stress. There's, that's there's, stress. Oh. There's also like some stat changes as well, but I don't remember the ones for Paranoid. I know Abusive gives you plus 15% to your damage. Really? But it also potentially has you uh, kill your own dude. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you get a taste for uh, for friendly blood. I mean, even oh. even if even if Jonas is by some miracle able to chunk down the man at arms, he's still got three other near full HP dudes to to get through. Mm -hmm. uh, that's tough. That is that is tough. And honestly, as soon as that man of arms is down, Rito is just going to... I mean, he's actually doing it at the moment. He's not trying to keep the man of arms alive. He's just focusing on stress. He's trying to get yeah. all the stress out of the man of arms that he can get before the man of arms dies. Like, yeah, he's yeah. just going to bellow again here. Yeah. Oh, that's a big dodge miss right there. Yeah, Ouch. it's the two most important two most important uh, characters that it could have missed on. He did make the Vestal... Get debuff, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sorry. I missed what it got as well. <laughs> I think it was, it was irrational. Uh, I was irrational, like trying to yeah. process and remember what the heck irrational does, but yeah. it's been so long I've totally forgotten. Yeah, like, like the only things I know are like rapturous, abusive, and masochistic. You hit yourself occasionally, but that you know yeah. that one's a gimme. Yep. Yeah. <sighs> That's I'd that was there. against a fifty-five. Yeah, it failed. Oh, you this is this is why this is why it's it's nonsense, right? You have mm -hmm. to get lucky. You have to rely on luck being on your side a little bit if you want to mm -hmm. win. Totally agreed. I think that's actually one of the reasons that this is a particularly good tournament game, though, like especially for the wholesome verse, because it's not something that people can get super worked up about because like, yeah, it's yeah. like there's there's RNG in it. Like, you know, you can try hard all you might, but, you know, RNG is RNG, and sometimes, especially with the weighted brackets as well, where three people got to buy for the first round, like oh, yeah, it's yeah. it's it's gonna be a little a uh, little wonky. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Oh, it's like Mario Party, right? And Mario Party is just like distilled RNG. That's that's sort exactly of. what Rito was saying as well. That it's a, it's like a party game. If you play enough Mario Party, though, almost all of the mi mini games become oh. like just solved. Wow. Yeah. What? what? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I thought we were about to see that. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that's uh, that was a 45 and another miss. At this point, I mean, I mean, what do we think Jonas is saying right now? Can you give me your best Jonas impression, Rhapsody? Oh, uh, um, I, I can't do Canadian is a thing. I, I've got no Canadian accent whatsoever. A? Hey, sorry. Hey, oh. sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, sorry hey. about that. Um, uh, yeah, I, I think I'm, pro I'm probably gonna lose this one. Um, <laughs> yeah, the stress is just getting too high on my characters. My, I, uh, I don't know my, why I'm giving dongle. him a deeper voice than mine. I guess he's, he's, his voice is naturally deeper than my performative voice, but my, my normal voice is kind of as deep as his. Yeah. Uh, we were we were saying actually during during your fight against Jonas that uh, all he needed to do in order to win was just wiggle his dongle a little bit mm. because if his um, if his internet cut out and you desynced mm -hmm. we would all vote for him as the winner. <laughs> so <laughs> he just he just needed to, just needed to wiggle it around a little bit. Yeah, dongle, hey. dongle wiggling is like a, a particularly high tier strat. 
<laughs> there's, I, there's no well, I mean, lag lag switching was like a real real thing that people would do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, experienced some of it back in my old uh, WC3 days. Man, I remember that. <sighs> that that's Ouch. what drove me to upgrade my internet and start oh. hosting myself because screw everybody else and their terrible, mm -hmm. terrible uh, connection <sighs> problems. Yeah. I, uh, I I also ended up at the uh, at the time with the best internet connection. It, I had the same internet connection for a really long period of time, and it was really bad when I tried to stream. Uh, but it was good at the time that I ended up picking it up, and I was involved in gaming at the time. Uh, so I would be like the Hamachi hosts for everything. Yeah. <laughs> I I did that. I was like one of the first adopters to fiber optics in the mm -hmm. U.S. Which mm. like nowadays it's it's barely barely above uh, dial up in terms of speed, mm -hmm. uh, but at the time it was like just peak performance. And then I went to college and had like actual gig like actual full gigabit like amazing internet. And then I graduated and the only thing available in my apartment was dial up. And that's when mm -hmm. I decided to start my YouTube <laughs> channel, uh, which was yeah. actually the worst. It took like all night to upload one video. Mm hmm. I think oh, I, I can say that I, all three of us have had that experience. <laughs> yes. <Yep. laughs> I, I remember I used to like double hand break my files so that I could get two of them up in a night, possibly. And that's only if I went to bed early and woke up late. <laughs> I, I just started sneaking my uh, my videos into work and uploading them on my lunch break because they mm. had decent internet. That was probably a contributing factor to me getting laid off. But like, whatever, that job sucked. Yeah. Landed on your feet, bud. Yeah, well, not really. Then I lived in my parents' basement for like two years. <laughs> so a delayed landing on the feet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was a, a graceful a graceful swan descent down to a landing on your feet. There we go. That's an analogy that works. Oh. Okay. So is <laughs> is Rito gonna BM this? Is he gonna drag it out a little bit, you reckon? I, I don't think he will. I think Rito's too kind mannered for that. We saw you using a little bit of uh, a little bit of BM against Jonas, by the way. Did I? Yeah, yeah. You, you did a couple of heals that were totally heals, unnecessary. Stuns. Uh, on where? So, uh, the uh, the the Crusader doesn't have an ability from the front two lines. Can only stun because I gave him uh, the like the buff of the whole party, the heal and the froze uh, the wicked lance. So he can only do stuns from that line. I, I was okay. never intending to BM him at all. Um, it it the totally heal looked was... like you were just flexing. Yeah, it did. <laughs> Oops, I, I, I definitely <laughs> didn't mean to, to to do that or to have it come up like that. Um, the, the heal was I really wanted to keep my grave robber off of death's door because I wanted to get another lunch out of her. We, we, we were also saying that, uh, that uh, if anybody killed your grave robber, it was a win. Yeah, yeah. The grave robber she, was a huge part of my strategy. She was she the was only nuts. other person that could set people up to death stall. Because yeah. I, I think she was getting people down like thirty-eight damage sometimes, and that was just mm -hmm. that was just not all right. That was oh, without a crit as well, and she like has yeah. a ten percent chance of crit. Okay, that's well, it. This, that's it. This one goes to Rito. It's time for us to go jump back over into the other room. My game is like congratulations, Rito. Well, well, thank done. you. Yeah. I'm not going to congratulate the, uh, the, the, uh, I'm not going to pretend that the other person won like, uh, like you did to me two times there. <laughs> <laughs> but I will also say congratulations, Jonas. It's uh, a yeah. uh, good holding up against Rito's onslaught there. Yeah. You got a good team. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a, I mean, it's a strong one. It's AO, AOE assault and not having to fend off death's door right away made it really easy because like as soon as you get momentum with stress like it seems to it's like it's pressed aoe click aoe yeah as soon as you I get mean, momentum jonas you got pretty unlucky with a couple of attacks on uh that man at arms when he was on mm -hmm. death's door as well yeah we were really yeah, about that. we were talking yeah. about it that was i'm sitting there going like how is he not dead yet yeah, yeah. we was i was like, like that's why i was uh joking about closing out the game there but i think that was it yeah <laughs> yeah but uh all right do we have any other show matches that no because like yeah. the first three are defined and it would be me and jonas for fourth and fifth and we already had that match so yeah yeah, yeah. 
if we're going for All like right. a win loss kind of situation, then uh, I think we have our bracket. All right. Um, so Raps wins. Indeed. Good yep. job. So it's Raps Orbital. Rhapsody. Ret Rito, myself, Wander. Yep. That's the order. Yes. Yes. Is there a Indeed. prize for the winner? <laughs> uh, I said in the the whole universe that whoever wins gets to take Alexa's crown as the golf master. Yeah. Because. So, so, so I'm now the Rhapsody. golf master. You are the you're, golf yeah, master. Yeah, you officially are the golf master. <laughs> Woo! Yes. Because do we do we have a booby prize as well, or or no? <laughs> a wooden spoon. <laughs> yeah, something like, I don't know. I mean, that, yeah, sorry, that's what they call it in like Australian. Stuff. Yeah, I, I, do they call it everywhere? The wooden spoon. That's well, lost. Yeah. yeah. Well, I've never heard this in my life. Yeah, I've never. You know, heard of it if, before. if you're memeing hard, if you're memeing hard, you know, you give the real prize to the to the person that came fifth place. That's. <laughs> One about you are now the golf master. <laughs> <laughs> I kept yeah, the ground right. for a second, but now I have to pass it on. 